out walking more wildlife. These are, this is a doe with two fawns. And they've been watching me walk for quite a while here. This is Rusty, 78609. I'm out for a walk this morning. First, I run into some skunks. And then I run into this pretty lady, and she's got two little children with her, and they're just about out of their spots. When they first come on this earth, they're spotted and have no scent. For the first two weeks of their life, they have no scent so that the wolves and so forth can't find them. But what does find them are hawks. And the hawks don't try to haul them off. The hawks just kill them on the ground and eat what they can and leave. But this lady looks like she's got two that that are going to make it. So congratulations, Mona. I'm proud of you. You've done well keeping them healthy this morning. There they are, gang. There's Mother Nature at its finest. And I've got my walking stick here that's kind of giving me a problem. I can't balance it on my leg. Yeah, that's why they call them white-tailed deer. That, that white tail throws up, looks like a, a long stick of cotton. And uh, that's the deer we have around here. See that little white flag? There goes one of the little fawns. And uh, they'll be in their spots for another month. And then that'll all disappear. And this, then to welcome them to the world, uh, deer season opens up here on November the 1st and runs through, I believe, the first week of January every year. And they'll be slaughtered by the thousands because what people do up here is they put out feeders all year round. And uh, the deer, of course, come there like any animal would, like a cow, and eat the corn on a daily basis. And then deer season starts and they put a deer blind with a hunter in it about 100 yards away. And uh, this m miraculous individual has the instincts to be able to kill a deer. And, uh, but anyway, that's deer hunting today in Texas, U USA. Uh, that's kind of poetic, isn't it? That's, I like that. But be that as it may, there's a little, what is it? Is a herd of deer or a tribe of deer? I don't know. Let me zoom a little bit on that. Yep, that's them this morning. They're getting ready to enjoy their day. They don't do a whole lot. I, you know, mother, th these animals have a good life here. They're in a neighborhood, so there's no real threat to them. And uh, they do quite well. There's plenty, not, not a lot of grass right now. We've had a little drought. But anyway, be that as it may, Rusty78609, thumbs up. Where are you, thumb? I don't, why can't I see my thumb? Oh, there it is. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye.